As the world celebrates Water Day, United Nations has warned that approximately 2.4 million people residing in urban centers will by 2050 not have access to water. Attributing this to conflicts that arise due to water scarcity, pollution, or unequal access to it. Inadequate access to water in asal areas is still seen as a major contributor to teen pregnancies in these regions. If a recent report by Kenya Human Rights Commission that placed Machakos County ninth among leading counties in teen pregnancies is something to go by. Fadhali, nisaidieni. Hawa wasichana wetu tuonge na wao. Maneno ya kubeba mimba mapema. Utabeba upeleke wapi. Awezi kununua daipa. Awezi kupata kukulisha mtoto. Kwa nini tu udanganywe ubebe mimba. Concerned organizations have come up with initiatives to elevate these. We contacted a survey a while ago and learned that one of the key drivers to teen pregnancy was gender-based violence. And these girls are experiencing gender-based violence on their way to fetch water, either it's the rivers, and when the rivers dry up, then they have to walk that much further to get to the water points and the watering holes. From a distance, for instance, learners at Lema and Kidiani Primary School in Wamunyu could be seen excited. Perhaps the presence of a water tank here could be the beginning of better results in their academics. We live in a water stress area that receives probably less than four inches of rainfall, and with that comes a slew of problems, especially for our students who walk for an average of three kilometers a day to school and home. And imagine living in this water stress area and having to wake up early to go fetch water before you come to school. At least water will equalize education and break down other barriers. One, the fragility was not very normal because, uh, you know, we had made a plan of each people bringing a, a, five, a five, five, liter, a, a five liter container. And you know that one is very heavy for them to carry. Because now we have the food with us and it has to be cooked. Watoto wengine hata wanaenda kama mwendo wa kilomita sita, kilomita saba kutoka kwa unyumbani hadi shuleni. Kwa hivyo wengine, pengine walikuwa wanachelewa kufika shuleni. Kwa vile walikuwa na mzingu wa kubeba uh, vitabu pamoja na maji. Before then, we used to, uh, to experience uh, uh, problems of stomach, which has, which has been very common to this, to this school. But now actually it has reduced to zero. We used to have a number of ten to uh, let's say 10 people going home. Which was very tedious and interfered with their studies, not to mention GBV cases that were on the rise, making young girls miss out on education, a basic necessity for every Kenyan child. Their teacher says girls would have a challenge in maintaining their hygiene, especially during menstruation. Pia watoto wa stana, walikuwa na changamoto nyingi sana, hasa wakatu wa hevi. Walikuwa wapati, wana, wakipato na hedhi, wanakimbia nyumbani, ndo waende wajinadhifishe, wadudi shuleni. Thanks to organizations of goodwill, Future Investment Initiative Institute through Kenya Connect distributed 26 water tanks to schools in the area, which has also seen the community benefit. Tulikuwa tunaendia mbali. Na mali tulikuwa tunachota maji. The water is being used by the cooks at the schools to cook for the students, uh, for girls who are going through their menstruation. Uh, they can clean their hands and if they need to take quick showers, they can do that. However, government's efforts in ending teen pregnancies could hit a snag if the perennial water shortage in asal areas is not addressed on time. Electing Odera. K24 TV. Girls, where are you? <laughs>